Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we'll be asking Spirit what's next in love, okay? So based on the current energies, what could possibly be coming next? Um, if the energy stays on course, we can look at, you know, what could come in, okay? Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. All right, so for today we have three tarot decks to choose from with three crystals. For crystal number one, we have the Lapis Lazuli crystal. with the Royal Romance Tarot. For crystal number two, we have the Amethyst Crystal with the Cat Tarot. And for crystal number three, we have the Green Fluorite Crystal with the Hocus Pocus Tarot. Okay, so choose which resonates with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Lapis Lazuli crystal, and the Royal Romance Tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, today we are asking Spirit, what's next in love? Okay, so with the person on your mind, what could possibly be coming next? What's in the current energies here? So let's see for crystal number one, we're going to get a general energy card out. Let's put my computer on mute. <laughs> Notifications already coming in. All right, let's get some general energy here for crystal number one, please. What's next in love for crystal number one? Ooh, leave behind what's no longer you. So someone walking away from something or you walking away from something, um, you or your person, this could be, um, leaving behind something that no longer serves you. Okay, card 33 as well, master number 33 coming through there. Okay, let's see. Spirit for the general, uh, not general collective, but crystal number one, please. We have Queen of Pentacles flying out. So walking toward your stability here, okay? Feeling like very strong and determined is what I'm getting. Someone feeling very strong and determined to uh, focus on their stability Okay, let's see what else. What's next in love? So this could mean that stability is coming in the connection between you. Could be both working on financial stability. Ooh, reciprocity coming. Slow reciprocity. Okay, slow reciprocity. Okay, so it might not move forward very quickly, but just know that it's moving forward, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, this is a slow mover, but they are moving forward, okay? You or your person, there is forward movement toward being reciprocal, okay? So that could have been for some of you, and keep in mind, these are general readings, so not everyone will resonate with everything. Um, for some of you, there was, it was kind of one-sided is what I'm getting, Okay, uh, this connection or relationship, it was kind of one-sided. You felt like you were giving, 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 or they were giving, 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 and you were distant. You know, it could be either way. We're asking about the connection here. What's next in your love connection, right? Um, either way, I'm feeling it was for some of you one-sided or lopsided, where one was more putting more energy and time and effort into it than the other. This is suggesting that reciprocity is coming. It might come in slowly, okay, but it is coming. So that's a good thing. So some sort of, you know, balance, equality, you know, is coming in your love life. It could be that someone um, was having to leave something else behind, right? Leave behind what is no longer you. Maybe this is why someone wasn't um, able to be reciprocal or something like that. Let's see what we have here. Page of Wands, King of Wands. Oh, Page of Cups, King of Wands. Okay. Page of Cups, King of Wands. 
together. Okay, so I feel the masculine energy here is daydreaming about the future, really looking forward to the future. Um, really in their feels is what I'm feeling here. Could be seeing signs and synchronicities about this future as well. Feeling very passionate about the feminine here. Um, we all embody masculine and feminine energy, so it's not really about gender. Okay, could be a man or a woman, doesn't really matter, but someone that's very passionate and daydreaming about the future. So I feel like this could be planning a future too. Okay, uh, like planning, daydreaming, imagining what it will be like here with this reciprocity. You know, once the relationship is... Um, Wow. Once the relationship is um, equal and balanced, right? Dreaming about what it'll be like, okay? So for the Queen of Pentacles, we have Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. So currently, there's healing that's taking place. Something that you were anxious about or this feminine energy here was anxious about. There's been a lot of healing and now rising into that stability was what I was feeling. So overcoming something. Healing from something from the past uh, could be something where, for some of you, uh, definitely feeling like maybe in the past you've been in relationships that were like that, very one-sided, something like that, and it was kind of giving you anxiety that this was a repeat, um, but you've healed yourself from that. You, you realize that, you know, someone else's actions have nothing to do with you. It has to do with them. Um, so it's rising above that obstacle because nine of swords is about the mind overthinking sleepless nights really having like um invasive thoughts you know where the four of swords is saying that you know you've healed that now and or someone has it might not be you but a feminine energy here has healed that now and has risen above ready for stability uh very determined to have stability this could be you um for some of you it could be you walking away from a connection that you or a relationship that you were in that was non-reciprocal and now you're focused you're determined to get a reciprocal relationship in your life right well if so it looks like one is coming it could be um someone else walking away from something that you know was non-reciprocal or maybe they were just unhappy which is why they were unable to reciprocate. Lots of different energy coming through. I feel like for some of you, it could be you walking away from something that's no longer serving you and moving toward something better suited, okay? Or vice versa. It could be a person walking away and walking toward you. And maybe that is why, um, for some of you, I'm feeling like you weren't getting that reciprocation. All right, let's see. Six of Pentacles, crystal number one. Ooh, yeah, they're keeping their eye on you. There, there's something about a gift here. Wanting to give you a gift. Page of Swords. Could be looking at things uh, that you like or trying to... Something about your interest, maybe. Social media. Something you could be posting on social media and they're looking at like things that you like. Something about a gift. So they might be wanting to buy you something, give you something, because this is about generosity as well. Mm, okay, so a gift could be coming. Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, it's the King of Wands who's moving slowly. So it, whoever is over here in their daydreams about the future, I feel King of Wands being synchronistic that it's the King of Wands here. I feel like this is them moving forward slowly. So very passionate about you, knows that they want to be with you, but moving slowly, okay? Gaining courage, gaining courage as well. This could be um, moving slowly toward a love offer with gaining courage coming through there. King of Wands, whoa, King of Wands and Page of Cups. Get these two together. We got two together here again, ooh. Hmm. So for some of you, it definitely is the masculine energy walking away from something, okay? Just kind of 
there's two stories coming through here, but definitely that that the masculine energy here might have been non-reciprocal. They they were needing to leave something behind, and now this is saying that they have okay, and now they're dreaming about the future, and also dreaming about expressing feelings to you is what I'm feeling. Um, things that are unknown to you, so feelings that they haven't expressed before. Wow, nice. Okay, interesting. Let's get more for crystal number one, please. What's next in love? Ooh, we have a quick flipper intuition oh I think that was the soulmates card too right next to it um intuition so intuitively they know what they want right they know that you're right for them this person here king of wands knows that uh they want to be with you is what I'm feeling there they're very passionate about it and they take action toward it okay I feel like it might be slow like I said but they do want to take action toward um their dreams desires and goals Okay, let's see what else for crystal number one. What's next in love? Whoa, it almost fell on the floor. We have, ooh, reflection. Okay, so beautiful card here. Very beautiful. Butterfly, they are transforming. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah, so if things are moving slowly, just give them space, let them do their thing. You know, they're working on it, okay? <laughs> they are working on it. They are definitely doing something, and they're daydreaming about it as well. Some planning going on. What's next in love for crystal number one? Keep your heart open. Wow, yeah. So remain open to one another here. Uh, definitely keep your heart open if you really want to be with this person. Um, even if it's slow moving, just know that they, they do love you. They want to be with you. Um, they're working their way there on a very slow horse, but it's okay. They're, they're working very hard at it, I feel. Seeing beyond, ooh, yeah, tapping into intuition. So someone, I, I feel both of you, honestly. I feel both of you with this card. Um, both of you really, really trusting in your intuition, which is beautiful. That is amazing. Always trust that inner knowing. Yeah, so this is good. This is a good sign that what you truly want can manifest into your reality because you're really believing in your own inner guidance system you're believing in yourself you know you're trusting yourself you're trusting what you feel um and this person as well i feel like it's both of you we have this one out here which is near the king of wands and this one out here which is near the queen of pentacles adventures Ooh, so adventures could be coming as well could be getting together going out enjoying time possibly in nature bird watching bird watching <laughs> someone bird watching um in nature okay for some of you or maybe not for others but there's definitely some adventures um coming here and again belief is so 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 important and trust and faith in the divine What's next in love for crystal number one? I feel like you're both, whoa, I feel like you're both doing that though. Like I said, 1222 just crossed my timer. As I picked up this card, it was right near it. Be spontaneous. So yeah, I feel like there's going to be some spontaneous adventures is what I'm feeling. This coming out right after that, okay? Might be a surprise. Might be kind of like one of those things where you're like spur of the moment, hey, let's do this. Let's go here. Let's, you know, I feel like that's definitely something coming for someone here. A spontaneous adventure. What else for crystal number one? What's next in love, please? For crystal number one, what's next in love? I feel like this is something that this person, especially uh, whoever the King of Wands character is in this connection, whoa, um, I feel like they've been dreaming about this for quite some time. I was just looking at that card and I got that message through. So, ooh, flexible and soulmate. 
So yeah, be flexible, be spontaneous, right? You know, go with the flow. Um, soulmates. So yeah, deep soul bond you could share with this person, okay? A very, very powerful connection um, between you. Card 41. Card 41 coming through for someone. Must be an age, someone's age. Okay, someone's age. Or it could be something else for you. Always keep that in mind, right? These specific details that come through sometimes are for a specific person. But if it resonates with you in a different way, then that message is for you too because the, the number came through, okay? Just so you know. So if it's not your age, but it, it's, you know, I don't know, your address or something, then it, it could be meant for you as well. Oops. Dropping the Magician and the Mirror here. Magician and the Mirror. Big twin flame energy here. Someone manifesting, right? Making changes. Taking action. King of Wands. Could be the masculine energy here. Um, really focused. Wears a lot of jewelry. Something about wearing a lot of jewelry. Could be you or them. Necklaces. Necklaces. Mostly necklaces. Okay. Okay. A lot of different necklaces, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so it could be this masculine as well. I definitely feel like this could be the masculine energy really manifesting change um, in their life here. Taking action. So I feel like it's the masculine there. And it could be a twin flame. Only you will know that, of course. We did have soulmates right before it. So it could be a high-level soulmate or a twin flame. Only you will know if it's your twin flame, okay? So if you feel like it's your twin flame, this could be a confirmation that it is, okay? Let's see what else for Crystal, number one, please. What's next in love? Two again. Listen with your heart and forgiveness. Hmm, yeah, so it could be forgiveness for this non-reciprocal energy that was present in this connection for some of you. Um, that's what I'm kind of feeling with this card. It could be, you know, I'm sorry because, you know, I had to really take care of this or walk away from that or whatever it is for your person, okay? Listen with your heart. So I feel like, again, this is something that's saying... Don't let your thoughts, right? Because at some point, someone was in their thoughts here, right? So what I feel this is saying is don't let your thoughts overtake you, right? Really listen to that intuition. That's where the truth lies. Mm. So it's very important. This is about overcoming the mind and not letting those thoughts take, take over our lives. Okay, let's get one of these out as well. For crystal number one, please. What's next in love? For crystal number one. What's next in love? For crystal number one, please. We have two, I think. Two or three. That looks like a... Nope, two. Okay. Mmm. Okay, yeah. Wow. Ooh, together, too. So whatever this situation was that someone was leaving behind was quite burdensome, okay? We have Plight of the Wanderer, which is about dropping burdens and the ending that opens the space for new beginnings, okay? Uh, or for the beginning. Um, this is the integral message here of what's coming, I feel. It's what kind of makes things able to shift, and it was very burdensome. Whatever situation this was, uh, whoever's going through it, whether it be you or your person, there was a lot of burden. It was a lot to deal with, okay? And now that ending is opening that space to allow this forward movement. And not for nothing, but I kind of saw that card before it even came out. <laughs> I had a feeling it was coming out, put it that way. And it came out with this one, which was even better because it gave us more information. We have, oops, this three, I think. Three. Oops, let me just put these away. We have awakening. Ooh, finality. Ah, wow. So walking away for good. Yeah, wow. 
awakening to that fact that that is what's necessary, okay? And we have spying, which is what I was getting here. I don't feel like it's spying in a bad way, okay? I feel like this is keeping their eye on something. It was something about a gift, okay? They might be just kind of trying to see the things that you like um, and wanting to, you know, give you a little token of appreciation that's kind of something that you would enjoy, you know? Um, and then this one here, a, a pretty strong message, walking away for good and awakening to the fact that that is what's necessary, okay? So that's a big message there. Okay, let me get one of these out as well. For crystal number one, what's next in love? Healing family issues. Yeah, so it could be walking away from family. It could be walking away from a marriage that has children. There's children in this card or there's a child in this card. Um, so... And it, forgive your parents. For some of you, it could be that they had to heal something in her child yeah it could be something like that as well or could be walking away from like a parental home maybe they were still living with their parents and they've decided to move on from that healing family issues though so yeah, it could be um, different family dynamics uh, for a lot of people, of course. But let's see what else. What's next in love for crystal number one? Ooh, your commitment is being tested. Hmm, someone, re someone was acquiring the patience of a saint. Wow, okay. So I feel like your commitment is being tested. It's almost like, do you really want it? <laughs> it's, it's that energy of, are you still going to continue to be patient? It's slow moving, right? Yeah, it's almost like just because it's moving slow, don't give up on it, okay? Your commitment is being tested. Do you really want it? Ask yourself that. Go deep within, right? And I'm not saying you, this could be a person too. <laughs> Keep that in mind, right? Um, but yeah, so someone's, uh, I feel patience there is what I'm picking up. Okay, let's see. Let's get one of these as well. For crystal number one, what's next in love? Honoring your energy. Ooh. So, honoring your energy, stable. If this is you, Divine Feminine or Feminine Energy here, um, someone really honoring your energy. So, and I feel this was very stable. So bringing a sense of stability. So stability coming. I was kind of feeling that with the Queen of Pentacles too. I feel like both of you will be, you know, stable. Let's get, whoops, let's get one of these too. Well, we think we got two there. Not today in love call. Okay, so what I'm getting with not today was simply this is not going to happen today. Like literally that as soon as I looked at the card, uh, just be patient. It's not going to happen quickly. We already know that. We had the Knight of Pentacles and the message has already come through. Um, this card also talks about... Um, someone being hurt or angry. This could be about this finality situation, someone who's being left behind, a situation or a family. That could also have to do with that. But the first message was this isn't happening today. So hate to be the bearer of that news, but I already was because that's what came through. Um, this is going to be slow moving, okay? So love call. Someone is wanting to express love though, okay? Maybe not today, but they are wanting to express love to you. So, and that's what I was feeling with that moon card was immediately was they're walking away from something and wanting to express feelings for you. So, all right. Wow. Okay. Crystal number one. This was pretty intense and big energy coming through. Really good energy though of forward movement, even though it's slow. Slow is good. Um, slow is not a bad thing and patience is a beautiful thing. Love is patient and kind. So 
hang in there. I think you got this, okay? <laughs> All right, crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the amethyst crystal and the cat tarot, this will be a reading, okay? Crystal number two. So we're asking spirit what's next in love, okay? So let's see with you and the person on your mind, we'll get a general energy card out. What's next in love for crystal number two, please? What's next in love for crystal number two? Ooh, nice. Transcendence. This is a beautiful energy of overcoming obstacles, transcending things, transmuting energy, rising above, um, and definitely feeling obstacles. So... Any obstacle in this connection, I feel like you're about to overcome it. Um, so that could be what's coming in the near future here. Or you could be actually going through this right now as well, overcoming something together. Let's see what's next in love for crystal number two. What's next in love for crystal number two, please? What's next in love for crystal number two? There we go. We have three of pentacles. Hmm. So currently I feel like there's someone else involved at this point in time in the physical world. Third party doesn't always mean a relationship. It could be, um, for some of you, I am feeling it's a relationship of some sort. But for others, I'm feeling it could be a job or that could be an obstacle, job, location maybe. Or maybe someone's just not getting, you know, paid what they're worth and they're, they're ready to move on from it. But there's some sort of a third party energy. Uh, some of you are relationships, some of you I'm feeling job. Um might need some overcoming right so yeah one way or the other we'll get more with the clarifiers in a moment but let's see what's next in love for crystal number two so this could be somebody leaving a job starting a business moving on from something green eyes that cat there has green eyes bright green eyes beautiful could be your person or you that has green eyes hanged man letting go of it yeah definitely so there is an element of letting go of something and i feel like it's whatever this is it could be causing some sort of an obstacle in the relationship okay maybe the job um like i said just doesn't pay them enough or pay them what they're worth you know they know that they can make more money they, they maybe they want to start a business um to be better uh financially stable like feel more financially stable um but either way whatever it is job or relationship i feel job is coming through pretty strongly as well um so whether it be a job or relationship because again these are general readings so i doubt y your person could have a relationship and a job they want to leave that's absolutely possible um, but I feel like this could be for different individuals. These are general readings. So a lot of different energy and situations come through. So only take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. Okay. Let's see. Someone letting go of something. Job, relationship, something. Transcending that obstacle. What else, please? So crystal number two. What's next in love? temperance okay whoa do we have another flipper no okay we almost had the whole deck flip as i was looking though temperance so a lot of patience is going to be required here balance is coming okay so balance is coming a lot of patience is going to be required orange cat someone has an orange cat 
um, that could be a sign or someone here. This is your reading or something like that. But an orange cat coming through as well. He's on the card and he's just basically calling out to me here to mention him. So there is patience to get through whatever this is. But balance is on the way. Okay. So. Hmm. Yeah, this could take some time. I always hate to be the bearer of that news, but I have to be. So sorry <laughs> for anyone who doesn't want to wait or whatever. <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's get more, please. For crystal number two. And love is patient and kind. Sometimes it takes um, people time to get through things and time to work out things that they need to work out in their life, you know. So, patience is a beautiful thing. Two of swords is a decision. That's right. So, a decision is coming, okay? Things are going to... Letting go, right? With the hanged man. And the two of swords is another card about decision. So, I feel like there's a lot of decisions. Maybe not a lot for each couple. But there's decisions here. A lot of decisions deciding to let go of this it's no longer serving me you know um and it might have been a, a difficult decision as well okay um whether it be a relationship or a job okay it might have been a very difficult relationship for whoever is going through this now keep in mind this could be you or your person we're asking what's next in love between you and someone else right so it could be you or your person take it again as it fits for your situation all right let's get some clarifiers for the three of pentacles here get a clarifier please for the three of pentacles yeah two of cups is about relationship okay so for the three of pentacles i do feel like there could be a relationship for some of you and this could also be indicating that this letting go of this situation is what can allow union between you and this person to happen ah there it is see i knew it a job and love there it is okay so this is about collaborating with others the three of pentacles right and this is about work also about third party sometimes th third party energy in the physical world um you know it's different for everyone i read intuitively so um, sometimes it means that sometimes it doesn't but this definitely means uh, for me today someone with work and someone with love letting go of something that's no longer serving them transcending that obstacle moving on from it okay um, and this could again like I said this two of cups could mean by letting go this is how union between you and your person can take place we have to let things go out of our life sometimes in order to allow the new in right so i mean it's just things have to end before new things can begin especially if we're talking about relationship here right so let's see hanged man what are we talking about here yeah letting go and it's going to be victorious it's going to lead to a victory exactly what i was feeling this is that victory the two of cups that's why i was feeling that energy coming through here because this letting go is what allows that to happen. It's a victory, okay? Temperance, okay? <laughs> is it just that one? Okay, just that one. Okay, top one is what I'm told. So the wheel. Yeah, it's going to take time for things to move forward. But the divine is helping you, okay? This is about divine intervention. Um, you know, the wheel is turning, so even if you can't see it with your eyes, you know, your, your human eyes, just know that things are taking place underneath the surface here, okay? Things are shifting and moving. The wheel is about forward movement. Um, just be patient through that forward movement is what I'm feeling there. Okay, and let's see this decision. Two of swords. Two of swords for crystal number two. Ah! love it oh my goodness I'm so excited for this card to come out you know what's funny is I seen this card I don't know when it was like right around here somewhere at the bottom and it it drew me in but it didn't 
ask me to like take it. So I was like, okay. And I kept going and here it is. And now it's showing itself on the two of swords. So it needed to come out where it did. And this decision is I'm choosing love. Okay. Very clearly, this person is in love with you. They want to offer you love. Okay. And again, this right here says it all. If, especially if this resonates for you with a relationship, okay, this can't happen until they let go, right? And now it's showing that they are, and that's going to lead to a victory. And this is a beautiful new start in love. That is what they're choosing. So the choice might have been difficult, may have been, you know, a lot to overcome if they were leaving a, say, a long term relationship or a marriage or something like that. However, this indicates that they are choosing their heart. They're choosing where their heart wants to be now, okay? So, wow, beautiful energy coming through there as well. All right, crystal number two. Let's get Oracle out here. What's next in love for crystal number two, please? We have Cozy Home. Ooh, nice. So, this is, I feel, wanting to live together. So build yeah stability so yeah this could mean that this person is thinking about this as well or you you know um thinking about you know moving in together um cohabiting being in one household um in a relationship a new you know new relationship starting here um and a very stable one at that, okay? Because I feel like there's stability coming through here. So I feel like this person, I feel like they've known, is what I'm getting. Like they've known that this is where they want to be and they've kind of like planned this in their mind. Like long-term goals with you in their mind if that makes sense I don't know that's what I'm getting from that card which again it's about cohabiting though for sure so I feel like they definitely want to live with you as well um but they something about a long-term plan and they kind of just seen you in that vision crystal number two please what's next in love but crystal number two okay is it all of them no this one that one okay and that one okay there was two that I wasn't sure actually I had to kind of clarify which ones I was supposed to take there I kind of felt it wasn't all of them and then I had to clarify which one so we have this one and it is imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life yeah, removing negative thoughts, okay? Thinking positive, planning the positive as well is what I'm feeling going on here. Ooh, nice, okay. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So yeah, I feel like, again, this person knows that they're just choosing their heart now and it's okay, you know? It's very important. Love is an important part of our lives beautiful let's see what else what's next in love for crystal number two so I definitely feel like somebody's choosing their heart whether that be again walking away from a job or a relationship whatever it is for your person they're choosing their heart now releasing the blocks yep so the blocks are being cleared yes absolutely it's all over this reading everywhere okay all this is about releasing those blocks so beautiful energy there as well. Scorpio, Scorpio coming through for someone out there on this card. I don't know if you've seen it when I rose it up, but that's where it came from. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, ooh, birds of a feather. Yes, feeling a deep soul bond. Possibly a soulmate or twin flame. Um, birds of a feather flock together, you know. They feel at home with you. Hmm. There's a home. Oh, beautiful. I have goosebumps. They feel at home. I, I feel that this is why they see you in their future. Mm. 
authentic self. They can be their authentic self. Both of you, I feel. Mm. You really jive <laughs> with this person. You really, you, you got the same vibe is what I'm feeling here. Very nice. Very nice energy here. Mm. And birds of a feather flock together. So I feel like that means you're going to come together as well. Okay, let's see what's next. I mean, we are asking what's next. So we are relaxing. Ooh, relaxation on the way. Very nice. Okay. Let me just put these back. Okay, relaxation. Oops, relaxation is on the way. So after this, you know, moment of time, maybe that was kind of tough, right? Trying to overcome obstacles, releasing blocks, walking away from things that no longer serve us. Someone's needing to relax, read a book, lay in a hammock, right? Maybe on a beach somewhere or by the moon. We have a big moon in this beautiful card. Okay, so someone wanting to relax, possibly with you, possibly alone, right? And that's okay. Um, you know, d just downtime, downtime, yeah, downtime. So removing from the world too, like kind of, yeah, quiet time, waiting. Mm, yeah, sorry. Here it is again. Okay, the waiting card for whoever is being patient. I feel like it's going to be rewarded here with the waiting card. Like I said, things are moving. It's just moving slowly. Um, and that's okay, you know. Milk and honey, you're a perfect fit. And this person has never given up hope on you is what I immediately got from this card. You're a perfect fit. So you both feel, again, birds of a feather, you feel very at home with one another. You feel like you're a good fit, like a piece to the puzzle. Um, and they've never given up hope. Card 51 uh, there as well coming through. Okay, so they've never given up hope on you. What's next in love for Chris? My goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel bad. Spirit is really pushing the patience message though. So again, it's just patience. Okay, don't focus so much on the when. Okay, let that go. And just focus on how you feel for this person the love that you feel in your heart go there anytime you feel impatient go to that place within you in your heart that you feel their love okay um because that's now like three messages about patience and here was definitely that message of this could take some time okay so just allow the universe to work on your behalf and kind of relax through it, right? Just live life, enjoy the moment and relax through it. What else? What's next in love for crystal number two? What did I just say about the moment? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Live in the moment. Appreciate the moment. Every moment you share with this person, whether, oh, card 33, um, card 33 coming through as well. Um, every moment that you share with this person, regardless of how long you, even if it's a phone call, a message, whatever it is, just appreciate that moment for what it is, right? Um, enjoy the moment without worry about what's next or what's coming or and I know you're watching a reading about what's next and I always try to stress in the beginning that this is the current energies this is based on that and we can hope and have faith in the universe that this can play out the way it comes through right so just if you focus on the moment like take this information and make it feel make it um, have it make you feel good um, because you're looking at the good outcome, right? Something good that is possible for the future while enjoying the present moment. So in this moment, 
stay present here in this moment and enjoy the reading and the message that you get from it, right? And take that positive message. What All these things that are coming through are really good. And just know that the good is coming. The universe is on your side. The universe has your back, right? And the better you feel about the situation and the more you believe and trust and have faith in it, the more it will manifest for you. So if we can just stay in the moment, no matter what moment we're in, you know, whether you're watching a reading, whether you're talking to your person, whether you're at work, um, just appreciate the moment that you're in, right? And then allow, you know, have that gratitude, that attitude of gratitude, right? Appreciating that moment and where you are and what you're doing. And then have the universe just deliver more of that good energy to you. Okay. I feel like that was a message for someone specific here um, or for multiple people, but spirit really stressing that fact there. Okay. Let's see what else for crystal number two. What's next in love for crystal number two? We have three three okay so we have death moves among us yes something ending someone choosing to let go of something and walk away from it right in order to allow for this victory to happen realization ah yeah after realizing something okay so someone could be in the process of realizations about their current life right is this really what i want for my life right three of pentacles whether it be a job or a relationship doesn't matter person sitting there thinking you know is this really what i want to do forever is this really the relationship i want to be in forever they're realizing things and that's what allows us to grow when you start to realize that you're not choosing yourself you're not choosing your heart you're allowing other things and other people to kind of um control your reality I guess so to speak you know like staying stuck in a relationship to please them but you're unhappy huh right so someone's realizing these things and they're going deep this is how they're realizing it as well okay so we have realizations and going deep all together those came out as well if you think about it right this ending comes from realizations after going deep into their own emotions and realizing that something needs to change. So, wow. Lots of messages coming through for you, crystal number two. Okay, let's see. Ooh, heartbroken. So someone could be heartbroken. Um, it could be whoever's impatient because it's falling right over that card. Um, Someone could be, you know, really stuck in negativity about it or doubting. Mm, could be also your person or whoever this is here. If this is your person, it could be them as well. Um, heartbroken that they kind of let themselves stay stuck for so long. Okay. Okay. Yeah, could be them as well. All right, let's get more for crystal number two, please. Stay optimistic. Look where it's falling. Oh my goodness. I was talking about all that optimism right here. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith. Look at the bottom. I'm going to bring it way up if you can see it. Positive thinking and faith brings you romance, okay? So shift out of negativity into positivity here. Okay, let's see what else for crystal number two. What's next in love? Woo, that's a lot. Two, three, three. What do you need to release is the first one here. Luck is on your side and the answers you need are coming. Wow. <laughs> it's a lucky time for you crystal number two have no fear this is also kind of like about luck okay 
luck karma uh the universe really working on your behalf luck is on your side you got this okay what do you need to release so someone we already know needing to release something and they're already there they've already realized this okay and they're transcending that obstacle clearing those blocks i'm making a mess i was trying to put the three of them there okay and the answers you need are coming so everything that you're worried about, don't worry. The answers you need are coming, right? I know it's easier said than done. Some people are like, don't worry. It's easier said than done. I know, I know, because I used to worry about everything, okay? And now I try not to worry about anything. And my life is much happier that way. Um, so yeah, it's, it's hard, but the answers are coming, okay? So have faith that they are on their way. Let's see. We got two more to go here. We have past, past, present, future. Okay. Past, present, and future. So this could be a past life uh, connection. I uh, definitely felt that soul bond earlier. Okay. So this could also mean that this person was in your past. There was a disconnect um, and they're coming back. And they're going to be in your future, okay, with past, present, and future coming out, right? I feel like you're, you're part of their future. All right, and let's get one of these as well. For crystal number two, please, we have girl with a snake. Hmm. So, ooh, enable boundaries. Yeah, so... This could be about this situation here. It's falling right here as well. This is where I was going to put it. This could be about this relationship that this person is, person is coming out of. Okay, so they could, um, you know, have to really heal uh, from this as well. This could be why there's time necessary if they were dealing with like, you know, a narcissist or, you know, being charmed, used, you know, feeling like they were charmed or used, uh, dealing with toxicity so and because of where it's falling here I definitely feel like that's the case um I feel like it, we we already determined it was it was kind of like a, a big thing a rough kind of transition right um could have been a long time coming a lot of patience required so I feel like yeah they'll need some healing uh as well or they could be going through this right now as well they could be working on that healing um from whatever situation they're removing themselves from okay they are in the going deep already here so it, this could be that they're already working on this as well all right crystal number two well that is what i have for you for today i hope this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading if you resonated with crystal number three, the green fluorite crystal and the hocus pocus tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number three. So we're asking spirit what's next in love for you and the person on your mind. For crystal number three today, please, what's next in love? We're going to get a general energy card out first for you and your person. What's next in love for crystal number three? I almost shuffled my hair with the cards. <laughs> that would have hurt. Probably would have pulled some out. The noble one. Ooh. Mm, very nice. So doing the right thing by each other. This is very, very good energy. Um, really both focusing on doing the right thing for each other. So this is really good. Good start here. Let's see with the tarot for crystal number three. What's next in love for crystal number three, please? So doing the right thing. King of candles. Ooh, someone very passionate about you here. King of candles could mean that this this um, king of candles is the king of wands. So they're very um, passionate about you. They know what they want. I feel like this person knows they want to be with you. They want to do right by you. Could be coming toward you with passion as well could have some passionate moments here is what I'm feeling there suspension Ooh, somebody's letting go of something it doesn't want to fall out of the deck but someone's letting go of something this is the hanged man energy um so someone's letting go of something okay we'll find out more with the clarifiers here 
but there is a sense of surrender and letting go here okay let's see what else for crystal number three six of potion Ooh, past life connection deep soul bond yeah looking back at the past too so hmm you this could be a soulmate or twin flame we're talking about with the six of potions coming through looking back at the past is coming through as well so you could be talking about things memories that you've shared hmm interesting yeah so really um connecting i feel on a deeper level talking end of a painful cycle and the queen of pentacles pumpkins pentacles um wow so i feel the queen of pentacles here the feminine energy we have a feminine and a masculine on the board here as well um so i feel like the feminine energy is really rising in our own stability here there was a painful cycle could be um something to do with this connection as well but the painful cycle is coming to an end um which is a good sign this is a very good sign so the feminine is rising above something that was painful um very stable in herself very like taking care of business you know like really focused on growth and the possibilities for the future hmm very nice hmm could be talking about the future here as well the past and the future this queen of at least the queen of pumpkins is giving me that as well so she could be uh talking to her masculine here uh about the future reminiscing on the past talking about the future okay king of candles let's get some clarifiers what's next in love for crystal number three please what's next in love oh Ooh wee yeah this uh king of candles here knows what he wants he wants to marry you he wants stability he wants a stable connection solid foundation wants a solid foundation with you mm, looking for long term so this person uh looking for long term here what is this suspension letting go mm, third party okay could be a third party could be a job too because third party doesn't mean relationship remember that i hope everybody knows that i try to say it every now and then but i forget a lot because i figure you guys know but doesn't necessarily mean a relationship okay a third party interference if you want to call it that or third party involvement um could be a relationship a job a family member a family dynamic uh you know it could be a lot of things so always keep that in mind but wow these two coming out together on the suspension card okay which is the again letting go surrendering so letting go of a some sort of situation in their life that they're needing to let go of some sort of outside interference okay whether it be a job uh too far away or in a different state or country um you know a family that doesn't support their dreams their wishes their goals a, a relationship that's no longer serving them you know they're just not happy whatever the case may be they are surrendering that and rushing toward what they want here because <laughs> this one knew exactly what he wanted and this is what he wants right and i feel like this is rushing right toward it okay so wow big energy there crystal number three let's see with the six of potions definitely feeling past life connection high level soulmate twin flame talking about the past future um past and future well past and future she's talking about the future but he, i feel like you know it's a, it's a conversation she was the one who gave me future though so she could be focusing on the future as well he is as well this this character here so long term Ooh, look at this yes victory and oh wow 
Man, am I loving this energy. Okay, guys, this is beautiful, okay? This connection is going to be victorious. All that hard work is going to pay off. Six of Wands is about victory, recognition. This could also mean um, literally coming together and, you know, kind of like announcing yourselves is what I'm feeling here. To your friends, your family, you know, like, hey, we're together. We're a couple, you know, or something like that. Something about candles. There's a candle here um, that really called out to me. Candles, something about candles. Maybe you like candles. I don't know. But candles is relevant to someone. Um, watching, hard work, paying off. Maybe someone has a candle business. Could be. Okay. Uh, general reading. Always keep that in mind. A lot of different energy comes through. Not everything will resonate for you. Uh, could be resonant for someone else though, right? So... Hard work paying off in this connection, though, as well, uh, because it's coming out on the Six of Cups here. So I feel like these conversations as well will really be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's hard to think when I'm in this mode. Um, they, it'll be productive. There, there you go. Okay, productive. I think these will be productive talks, meaning... Memories from the past, yes, laughing, joking, enjoying, remembering the good times, whatever, but also planning a future here, okay? So, wow, this is pretty big, crystal number three. Let's see with the, I almost shuffled my hair again. What is going on? Okay, <laughs> queen of pumpkins and ten of lightning. So, queen of pumpkins had a painful ending, I got one out there, but I don't know what it is, and I feel like I need one more. So I'm going to just keep shuffling till I get one more. Queen of Pumpkins and Ten of Lightning. So we have the King of Swords and... Mm, okay, so for some of you, this was about your masculine or this person here... Holding back energy, kind of seeming emotionally unavailable at some point. Holding back their energy, maybe distancing. Um, yeah, kind of staying away from you is what I'm feeling. Not communicating. I feel like that's the end of that painful cycle, okay? Um, some sort of clarity might have come about uh, in this person, and they may be communicating more now. Um, as well, being that it's coming out with the Queen of Pumpkins because they're looking at you as very stable and secure in yourself and you're very magnetic. Um, someone that they can see themselves marrying, building something stable with. So you are someone that they envision in their future. They see um, something good with you. You know, they definitely see that this could be vic victorious, um, prosperous, you know, Lots of love um, shared between you. Uh, past life connection, deep soul bond or twin flame. I mean, that's deep, okay? Uh, the noble one wanting to do the right thing by you. Mm, people that don't really care about you don't really care if they do the right thing by you usually, okay? So people that love you, though, they really want to always do the right thing by you, right? So... Um, and, and not everybody always does the right thing, okay? No one's perfect, but um, definitely feeling like there might have been some sort of a pause or stop or distance here for some of you with that Four of Pentacles, King of Swords on that painful ending, um, which is a good sign that it's coming through here because that's saying that that period is over, so... Woohoo, that's a good thing, right? And now the Queen of Pentacles can, um, you know, grow, talk about the future, look forward to that. Let's see what else with the Oracle cards for crystal number three. There's a couple out here. We have, whoa, three of them, okay. So we have adventure. So wanting to get together, spend some time, maybe go on some adventures, road trip, road trip coming through there. Okay, so maybe road trip coming in your future here. Um, ooh, nature. Hmm, maybe some nature walks on these adventures as well. Okay, so maybe getting together in nature could be something you both enjoy. Warrior, yeah. So you've had to be strong. Um, I feel like you are strong. 
I feel both of you here. King of Candles and uh, Queen of Pumpkins. Very stable energies, you know, King and Queen here. They're rising in their power. Um, being a fighter, you know, um, really getting through anything that kind of stands in the way and coming together, letting go of whatever needs to be let go of and, you know, moving ahead. So very nice fighter type of energy, you know, like strong, uh, empowered. Okay, let's see what else. What's next in love? Empowered. Yeah, I feel like together you'd be very, like a very powerful, strong couple together as well with that Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles coming out there as well. So we have one or two, one. Okay. Yeah, sorry, trying to put the cards back. So we have this card here, and it is wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay, so we have nature out there as well. So two mentions of letting nature, nature, okay? So just kind of go with the flow of the universe is what I'm feeling. Don't try to rush, force, or control the situation. I feel like it's shifting and changing on its own is what I'm feeling here, especially. Um, someone really making that decision to let go of something and rushing right toward what they want. So just kind of go with the flow and enjoy the ride, I guess. Let's see, what else? So crystal number three, what's next in love? Either way, I feel like it's going to be a success and it's gonna be the right thing for both of you is what I feel with that noble one. We that one really flew out. What do we have here? Unleash your kindest self. Yeah, so always remember to be kind regardless of the situation. Um, just try to find it in your heart to have compassion for others as well. This could also indicate that you're both very kind souls, okay, um, coming through in your current energy, that you're both going to be very kind, shining your lights brightly. Nice, yeah, shining your light brightly. Capricorn, so for someone out there, Capricorn coming through. Okay. I'm a fellow Capricorn, so hi there, Capricorn. Ooh, a merry motive. I like that card. Yes, good intentions. So things that are coming, you know, just know whatever it is. This person has good intentions with you, a merry motive. They they don't have, um, again, they want to do the right thing by you. I feel like there's a deep love and care for you. Um, they definitely want to do the right thing and make you happy. And give you what you deserve, you know. Be victorious. Set solid foundations. Ooh, they also very protective of you as well. You might feel this when you're with this person, um, that they're very protective of you. They want to take care of you. Again, they care for you very deeply. Um, so they're wanting to protect you. So expect that to continue as well if we're asking what's next, right? So they'll continue to be that protective um safe place for you is what i'm feeling crystal number three what's next in love please i could also be universal protection as well uh divinely guided mm, yeah could be just got divinely guided so yeah it could be universal protection with that past life connection could be a twin flame like i said only you will know that though if it's this is your twin flame okay oh beautiful there's a lot of trust between you so this is this is a beautiful connection okay you both trust each other you're not fearful um you're living from soul you feeling the love instead of worrying about things yeah beautiful that's good. This could also be trusting in the universe as well, okay? Um, trusting in, you know, what's to come. We have two here. We have a message in a bottle. So I was feeling communication coming with that King of Swords as well. Um, that period of, you know, holding back or being emotionally distant, um, coming to an end and some sort of communication possibly coming. So... This could definitely be something that's close if it hasn't happened already. And ooh, imagine, imagining the future. Yeah, that I feel 
both here. Okay, Queen of Pumpkins and King of Candles, both looking at a stable future here, imagining the possibilities, okay, um, for the future. Really feeling like this could be something good. Both of you, I feel, are really imagining that. Let's get more. Ooh, I love her. Angel of Love. She's beautiful. What a beautiful card. This is beautiful love shared between you. Um, this is going to continue. This is unconditional love. Very, very deep, powerful soul love. And they might bring you flowers. I just heard something about bringing you flowers. So they might be coming bearing a gift of flowers um, at some point. Maybe they ask you out on a date. There's adventures, nature. Maybe they ask you out. Or maybe they pick you flowers in nature. Oh, that's so sweet. That would be sweet, wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe they pick you flowers, wild flowers or something. Oh, very nice. Let's see. Whoa, it almost fell on the floor. Ooh, wow. I love this card. They treasure you. You're like a diamond in the rough. Someone very special to them. Hmm, they're going to treasure you. It is important to love others deeply. They love you very deeply. Um, and they know how important it is to show that love. They treasure you, this person. You mean a whole lot to this person. You're very, very important in their life. Very, very beautiful energy there. Let's get more. For crystal number three, what's next in love? So I feel like this is going to be a very beautiful, um, loving connection here. Lots of deep love and care for one another. That felt like two. Mm, follow your inner guidance. Yeah, uh, follow your inner guidance and learn from one another. You are your you are your person's best teacher. <laughs> you are your person's best teacher. So it could be them teaching you are you teaching them but you're going to learn a lot from each other okay um be open to that i guess there's a lot that can be learnt from this connection from this relationship and your inner light will guide you so always follow that inner you know inner knowing your intuition always always follow that you can trust yourself mm, wow okay let's get more for crystal number three what's next in love for crystal number three please what's next in love for crystal number three yearning hmm, someone's yearning for you this could be right now because these are the current energy so someone is missing you and yearning for you at this moment okay let's get one more stability yep i already felt that with this card here four of wands that stability is something that someone really truly desires here, okay? Stable, um, long-term connection. What's next in love for crystal number one? I'm going to get one more. I'm focused. Yeah, someone's really focused on making changes as well. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely, um, again, there's this letting go surrender. So someone's definitely going through something that they're trying to get past. And I feel like they're very focused on doing that looking forward and knowing what they want in their life this stability and definitely missing you as uh we speak here with that yearning card coming through what's next in love for crystal number two uh not two three <laughs> what's next in love for crystal number three what's next in love for crystal number three please What's next in love for crystal number three, please? Woo, there we go. So we have free yourself. Yeah, that's exactly what someone's doing. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah. So someone's letting go of something that, you know, maybe had them feeling pretty stuck is what I'm feeling. Uh, I'm looking at this imagery here and it's like this unicorn is just stuck in the middle of all this fencing. Um, so someone is freeing themselves uh, from this and that's exactly the energy here that was coming through. 
so yeah they are breaking free but I am feeling like I said for some of them it was really feeling stuck in something could even be like I mean I mentioned I think um location came through or something like that could even be that they're like across the world and they just felt like maybe it was impossible or something to free themselves and get to um where they want to be you know and now they're freeing themselves realizing that they can make it happen they just have to believe in it and have faith in it and trust in it and take the action steps to manifest it in their life right look at this hold your vision yeah wow the vision for the future the vision for the future both of you hold your vision it's coming the universe is working here um you just have to remain positive and hold that vision whoops and free yourself could be this person right freeing themselves yeah oh wow it is actually <laughs> it's the masculine energy it knocked this card into there and both of these cards suggest that the masculine is the one who might need to be releasing themselves from this situation right um masculine energy and death coming through so that ending taking place okay and moving forward able to move forward after that ending takes place loving all the confirmation of that as well for you crystal number three let's get one more please what do we have oh stabbed in the back heartbroken pain separation yearning they're feeling I feel like this has been separation so again kind of suggesting maybe a past relationship that ended or a twin flame connection and separation is really affecting this person um really affecting yearning you know they are ew, they're kind of like they have moments of sheer sadness about it is what i'm feeling um the time apart and all of that that it's really really um yeah it's really night yeah at night so it could even be that you know you might have maybe you spent time with this person spent the night with them often or something like that or maybe you even lived with them um and then there was a disconnect and now at night they're really feeling this separation they're really yearning for you and longing for you in those moments you know um you not being right next to them okay and that might be just for some individuals out there maybe not for everyone but it's definitely coming through uh with yearning as well so someone here definitely missing someone else but also i feel it could be after a separation of some sort okay so i mean for some of you it could even be that you're a friend with this person not the separation part but the yearning it could even be that you're just friends but they have romantic feelings for you and you haven't seen them in a while because they pulled away or something like that and they're yearning for you for others i feel like it's the separation okay that's coming through pretty strongly on that card it's about separation so definitely feeling like that could be for some twin flames out there as well okay all right crystal number three well that is what i have for you for today i really hope that this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading